There we go. Alright, so now that's done. Um, the only missions left now are two for Salvatore Leone. Uh, and they are the Shoreside Redemption and the Sicilian Gambit. So just two more and that's it, it's over. I have to say, you're probably thinking, well, three videos. I'm like, yeah, well, the thing is the ending is about half an hour. Uh, to be honest, I like the credits. The credit screen alone lasts quite a long time. I've no idea why this is. It's one of the longest credit screens in video game history. It just goes on and on, so that's part of the reason why it's so long. But I'm kind of like, I want to show you guys everything. I don't want to kind of skimp over the ending. And endings are my favourite thing about video games. I mean, like... I'm always fascinated by like the old Nintendo ones where you'd complete a game and you'd get like a credit screen and they'd thank you for playing the game and then there'd be something extra or hidden you've unlocked. That was always fun to me. As a little Lucas I always enjoyed um, those sorts of games really. Like Kirby's Dreamland springs to mind, that was one of the best games I ever played on Game Boy. And that's something I have actually done on my channel, so check that out if you haven't done so already. You can find it in the playlists. Um, in fact, I've done... What have I done? I've done Kirby's Dream Man, and I've done Kirby's Adventure. I need to get the second one done on Game Boy. But unfortunately, my old Super Nintendo's bit the bullet. So, yeah, it just gave up on me, so I need to get another one. I'm wondering if you can get like a Super Game Boy emulator like some sort of SNES type thing where I can like emulate all the games that's something I'm going to look into I, maybe I've just made that up I don't know but if they haven't invented it they need to <laughs> they probably have they probably have anyway let's pop in here and save the game and then we will go outside and answer the phone for I can't remember his name I was going to say Antonio then Salvatore Leone and do the final two missions so yeah amazing i hope you guys have enjoyed these videos too because i i've just had an absolute blast making them i feel like i've grown as a gamer as well like playing this game and gta3 because i was kind of like a gta uh, novice when i first started um as i said i I'd, I'd never really played three all the way through um i played bits and bobs of different gta games but never really completed one so i would say that I did complete Grand Theft Auto 3 but I had to cheat on the last mission because it was like banging my head against the wall. Oh hang on, I'm getting a phone call now. Alright, okay, yeah but like this game was probably the one I, I've 100% completed legit. So Grand Theft Auto 3 I'd probably say 99. Point five percent completed but i did really well i completed some tough missions on that game i remember ex express is it expresso to go that mission is one of the most painful missions ever created and it took me several attempts lots of headaches and i finally cracked it on a uh, really really hot bank holiday monday uh, when it was really sweltering so i'm quite proud of myself so yeah, it's like it's gonna be nice just to get back to some simple platform games and also play some games I've never played. I wanna get more Master System stuff done as well. That's something I've kind of neglected. I've got all these games and it's like I never really sit down and think, oh, maybe I'll try sort of a different style of game. You know, I just wanna play something I've like never played before. Right now this is something I'm trying to do. For some reason the game won't let me go up here. Which I think is BS. I mean, why wouldn't I be able to get up here? It makes no sense. For some reason, the game says no. I mean, like, you think you would. I mean, like, I know he's not Lara Croft, but come on. You could be able to get up there. The game just says no and just forces me down. I feel like Wile E. Coyote sort of running on thin air and then dropping to the ground. Okay, it's, that's not going to work. It looks like I'm going to have to just find another way. Luckily though, there's a health power up over here I'm going to take advantage of. So I'm going to take that. And there's also another bike. I'm going to use this other bike. So we're going to have to drive up to um, Salvatore then. He's still in prison, but he's going to be let out for his court case. And the police actually let you um, use a police car to help escort him because he's going to be attacked. 
so that mission's a lot of fun and it's not that difficult as I said some missions seem more difficult than they are but they're really not I mean, let's try and get back to Sal if we can I might make a few wrong turns here and there I still find Shoreside Vale I'm better with it now but it still gets a bit confusing every now and again I, I still find myself turning the wrong way when and sometimes I'll go the right way and think I'm going the wrong way it's really bizarre I just can't seem to get on still I'm glad that they finally put mission briefings here this was something I wanted them to do in the third game anyway but they never did for whatever reason so this was kind of like an optional extra third island maybe they ran out of space or they didn't have time or I don't know but anyway we need to now go see Sal so I think this is the way to do it we need to go up Cedar Grove make sure we go up this hill and this eventually leads us to the main roads and to Pike Creek see I'm getting better I'm, I'm getting to know my way around I think it's like when trying to do a few of the missions I, I kept going to Wichita Gardens by mistake so it took a long time to, to not go that way so we go this way across the road oh hello go this way okay we need to drive this way we should be able to get to Pike Creek all the way oh for god's sake and sometimes it's like it's really hard to avoid having an accident in this game like sometimes traffic will cause accidents like it won't actually be your fault and the cars will actually cause you to really collide that can be annoying or when you just make a mistake when you're in a bike race and you know one slip and it's all over that can be really annoying but anyway here we are back at the Shoreside Vale Police uh, Station where Sal is incarcerated awaiting trial so here we go the Shoreside Redemption Sal you there? Anthony! I'm getting out! My arraignment today! Great! Yeah but I got this socialist to free you so they want me to make it to court with me in here who's stopping them from taking over? Hey, they'd have to get by me first, Sal. Yeah, Tony, whatever. Just make sure I get my day in court. Hey, the guards are coming now. I'll see you around the front. All right, we need to get a police car, so we're going to go around the corner and check it out. There's one right there. It's okay. I think the police have given us permission to use it, so we'll be fine. We need to get into position. So we can help guard um, the security van basically. There's going to be like a police car in front and I'm behind. Now I mustn't bang into the van. Because if I bang into the van then the police will get annoyed and they'll call off the whole thing. So it sucks because if we, if we, if, I can't get the words out. If we're too far away from it then we can fail the mission. So we have to stay in close proximity but not bump into it. Uh, whilst also taking out, I think the Ferrellis, who were trying to stop Salvatore. So it's one of those missions that needs a lot of careful kind of, I want to say planning, but you have to make sure that you you know where all the blockades are and stuff. So the first one's like kind of right there. I mean, like the van automatically turns around, or the uh, sorry, the security van. I'm getting getting all tongue-tied here and then the Ferrellis are going to try and ram it so you've got to try to make sure that you're like a shield for the van but at the same time not get hurt yourself it's really difficult so the blockade and when it says take out the blockade only then can we shoot ahead of the van or we'll try to anyway so it seems to be doing all right on its own though it's taking a little bit of damage as you can see the damage meter has returned so if it takes like if that bar fills or fills up completely blue then it will blow up so we're just taking out the Ferrelli wise guys and trying to take out some cars there's an interesting little glitch which seems to occur as well sometimes when the Ferrelli cars will actually get caught on the back of the security van and not do anything so we'll just drive around so in many ways it's almost like acting as a shield in case any more Ferrellis try to damage now it's not looking good at the moment let's be honest um, 
I've almost filled that meter already um, so I've got to try and pull pull through and be careful so I'm doing the best I can we're almost there though believe it or not we just got to get to the courthouse in Staunton Island so it's like only a few more hurdles however these hurdles can be life threatening we need to get rid of the blockade up ahead and there's like a car in front so I'm ramming I'm trying to ram the Ferrellis as much as I can I'm trying to see that take out the blockade now it wants me to race ahead so it's like you've got to be super super on the ball and let it take over there we are oh my god here we are on Stuart Island so we're on the final the final furlong now only a few more to do so this is telling me to take out the blockade what blockade I can't see any that's what I don't get is it behind me I think that's what it's referring to but as you can see you can see how one of the Ferelli's cars has literally clipped onto the back of the van and I don't know why it does that it, it doesn't it's not doing any harm anyway but uh, a little bit of smoke is beginning to emit from the security van let's just break through that security blockade and we'll just follow oh dear that's not good I can't get too far away from it otherwise I'll fail the mission so I think we're gonna do it now I think that's it right here we go and there we are done It's good to be a free man again. But listen, I'm gonna head up to the house and get out of these stinking rags, okay? I'll meet you up there. There we go, mission passed. Nice and simple. And check it out, there's only one more mission to do now and that's the final mission. And we're gonna finish it in this uh, set of two videos. Hard to believe. So again you're probably wondering why don't I just finish it in this video, well I like to but the credit sequence is so long and it would make this video like over an hour long and I kind of, what, I, what I'm planning to do is just like do the last mission here but show the credit sequence in the next video because it's just ridiculously long. I think because they had so many people working on the game, not just that, but the musicians, um, the music that they used, and like there's so much that went into this game. So first I need to prepare for the mission, so I'm going to buy an AK-47, I'm going to buy some more um, SMG, some armour, and we're going to head off now back to Portland, the very first island where we first started, to end... Uh, to end it all now and finish the game so I'm getting a lot better at driving around as well so I'm beginning to find a distinction between where everything is and where I need to go so I'm, I'm hanging in there and it's been really fun driving around Liberty City as I said the city's got such a lot of personality it's such a fun place to drive around right I'm gonna go and just save my game though pop in here just in case, the reason why I, I could go back to Portland to save it, but I don't want this game crashing. It has happened once, um, and it, it kind of happened when I just saved the game, so that's why I kind of always save it after every mission, because you just never know with technology. I mean, I don't fancy doing a tough mission, and then before I saved it, it glitches out, so I want to save it as much as I can when I can. So I'm going to save it again when I get back to Portland as well. I say back to Portland, it's been a long time since I've actually been there. Um, so basically you work your way up from that island and you you just kind of... I thought everything would end here, but no, it ends where, where it began, I suppose, as they say. So I need to get back there. Okay. Let's see if I can find it. I should be able to. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. This just... It's so Grand Theft Auto 3, this bit reminds me of Asuka. It's kind of Asuka lives in one of those houses, or used to. 
So that's when you know you've got a good game when you can kind of remember where each character lived. Okay. Oh, where are we going? I need to get this right. As you can see, look at that. The devastation caused by uh, my bombs. It's rocked Fort Staunton, basically. Right, I need to go back to Belleville. That's where I need to go. If I can get there. I don't know why I'm kind of going the wrong way here. It's not difficult. Oh, hang on. Is this the bridge? Oh. Okay, that's weird. Alright, the game's just really loaded up again. Sorry about that, guys. I must have missed that part. I think I think I messed up or something. Or something happened. Um, I'm trying to think what happened. Yeah, I think I fell off the bridge accidentally or something. That's why I kind of did it all. Yeah, something happened. Yeah, and this can happen as well occasionally. It's like you try and get away from the baddies and they'll just follow you. Get lost. Right, I need to get the hell out of here. Oh, yeah, and I got busted, so yeah. Stupid. So let's load that up. Let's do that again. So this is why I include these little bits in because I can just show you how things can go wrong quite quickly in this game like for some reason it all I, I noticed in Grand Theft Auto 3 some things were random here it's more consistent like every time I've done this like I tried to go out at this point or the other way like I get accosted by some gang members so I'm gonna go a different way this time so let's see if that makes a difference it's very frustrating because all I want to do is get back to the island so yeah, I must have fallen. I think I fell in. That's why it's kind of cut to me back in the save room. I think I fell off the bridge or did something daft. I honestly can't remember. I'm sure it was something like that though. I think I was in such a hurry to get to um, Portland. I just messed up. And it's frustrating because like I want to finish the game. That's all I want to do. And it's like, I can't even do that. Right, I'm trying to find. I will get there, right? So it's near this way. I need to find. Once I find the two roads, I'll be alright. It's like one way goes to Portland, the other way goes to Shoreside. I think it's this way. This is it. Right, I'm on the bridge now, guys. This is the bridge. And this will take me back to Portland. So there we go, guys. Got there in the end. A few hiccups, but well, just the way it goes. We can go across the Callahan Bridge now, which is great because I wasn't sure if I could come back here after everything that had happened. But it looks like they finished uh, the bridge, so all is good, and we can head on back, save the game, and we'll go to Salvatore's house. And we're going to end it. We are going to finish the game right now, guys. So it's about time. Finally, I can I can relax. I've been playing so much Grand Theft Auto. Every time I go outside, every time I see a van, not that I want to rub it, but it just keeps reminding me of the game. <laughs> you know, so much. That's how kind of into it I am. There's an ammunition there, which uh, unfortunately doesn't sell what they sell on Stork Island, and that's a real shame. I think there should have been some consistency there, like wherever you went, depending on your level or how high up you got, they should just sell the same stuff everywhere. And this is, remember this place, this was the first save room, this dingy place where you first started. Well, we have to go back here and we need to save it. And once we do that, all is good. Alright, I'm ready for the final mission now. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Here we go, guys. 
So as I said, I did this um, yesterday, one o'clock in the morning. So yeah, I was watching like soap operas and stuff, and I was like, do you know what? I've got one more mission to do. I really need to finish the game. So I just got on with it. I was able to do it, and I was like so surprised. I just needed to get it done and out of the way. And I'm just, what I am going to plan to do is just stick to one let's play at a time now. It's just easier for me to manage. Um, I can do three, but sometimes it's a bit stressful. Here we go, the Sicilian Gambit. No, I'll talk to you later. Hey, Tony! Oh, you're back where you belong. Hey, we're both back. You and me, we did it, huh? You know it. We cleaned it up with the Forellis, the Sindacos we sent into the fucking sea. Now I got the Sicilians on the phone wanting peace. We all want peace. But my peace, not their fucking peace. I'm the big man now. No chump from the old country is going to tell me what to do. I told them to go fuck themselves. You did? <laughs> Was that wise? Hey, I'm the boss now. Me. Now let's go see the mayor about getting my charges. Alright, so we can finally begin this mission now. And it's the final mission, as I said, Sicilian Gambit. So I'm just going to grab this bike here, jump on it, Salvatore's going to follow. And we're going to drive all the way back to Staunton Island now. So let's do it. So he tells you to hurry up, Salvatore does, but. There's no time limit, I mean really you can just kind of take your time, they make you think there's like a sense of urgency. I'm just doing it for the sake of just doing it really. So just head on over and you'll be fine, there's only a few Sicilian guys to take down. Um, and that's what I love about this game, it's like you just know you're going to have a much easier time with this than GTA 3 say. Right, and I just keep really banging into things. That's the problem with me using bikes on this. I always end up falling off or doing something nutty. Um, I do like the PCJ600 actually. It's a great bike. Um, the handling's a little bit dodgy, but it's very kind of reliable. I find that when I turn corners, I have to kind of use the brakes slightly. So I've just got to kind of now <laughs> also try and get myself across the Callahan Bridge. I'm getting better at finding my way around but I still kind of, it's this bridge, no matter what I do, I always end up kind of not finding it. <laughs> so I just, I get so lost in this city but in some ways that can be a good thing because I have so much fun with it. So yeah, absolutely incredible. I've just had such an amazing experience with this game, highly recommended, um, if you've not played it play it that's all I can say to you um, it's great right anyway <laughs> me praising the game let's get across this bridge now and get on with the uh, first portion of the mission which is just we just need to get to City Hall essentially and take out the Sicilians so yeah I make the mistake of saying that it's the Ferrellis but it's actually the Sicilians we're killing it gets very confusing uh, there's that many gangs in this game I get mixed up quite a lot Right, we across the bridge now, so we're almost there. I'm just going to uh, cheekily... Oh god, that didn't work out well. I actually come off the bike a little bit dangerously there, but we're getting back on it now, and we're going to go this way. I think it's towards Torrington, isn't it? That's where kind of City Hall is. Okay. Right, here we go. Let's get the briefing. Damn it, they're here already. Burn them down, Tony. I'm gonna get the mayor. Right, take out these Sicilians. There we are. Brilliant. Okay. Right, sorted. Right, now we just gotta head for the pier. So that's just down here. Right, we'll just jump on the bike. Right, okay. Now, we need to plan this. 
to perfection. It, this next bit is not too difficult, believe it or not. Um, I will say that the end can probably might screw you up if you're not careful. There's a couple of um, how can I put this aggressive shooters towards the end trying to take you down. All right, essentially we need to get into a boat and uh, shoot down loads of Ferrellis. We're chasing you. We need to get to the lighthouse. That's the key anyway. But I need to find, I need to get my way back to the pier. But I'm finding a, a bit difficult now uh, trying to work out where it is. I think it might be this way. I'm wondering. Again, it's, it's one of those things where you drive to it, but it's either above or below where you need to be. Um, that's something I have real problems with on this game. See, look, it's like I thought I was like right near it, but I'm nowhere near it, and I don't understand how I could have missed it. it makes no sense. It makes no sense to me because sometimes I'll be like, oh, I'm right near it, but then it'll just I'll, I'll be nowhere near. So I'm, obviously I'm not in the right place. All right, I need to get to it. This has got to be it. I'm going to go this way. Alright, that just leads back to friggin' Portland. That's not where I need to be. It's too confusing, is basically. And that's one thing I have real problems with on this game. Finding where I need to go. Anyway, I'm going to drive this way. Um, let's see. Right, we'll drive this way. Um, we'll try this way. You see that my sense of direction is like terrible. I don't know why I can't see where I'm supposed to go. It's really not that difficult. See, basically, it's below where I need to be. I need to be like. I think I need to be below where I am, but I'm gonna go into the ammunition now. I'm gonna get some armor first before I. I think I'm gonna have to drop down to get to it. I had this problem before in three trying to get to a super. I literally the only way I could do it was by dropping down. That was annoying for me. So I'm gonna have to kind of do the same thing. I think just to get down, even though there's probably a nice easy way to do it. Um, down there's where it kind of need to be. So I'm gonna have to do this very carefully. I hate this so much. 